Hey, welcome back on this Friday mm. morning. Oh, we're sad to say, but we have to wrap up Foodies Week here in Good Morning Jacksonville. But we hope you have room for one more food truck. Always save room. Always some room. For just one more. Even in that Even shirt, in, you well, got yeah, space. Yeah, we got to expand. It's yeah. fitting snugly. <laughs> They're actually right out in our parking lot right now. We've moved them in. We've had a little blustery weather, yeah. so we brought them into the First Coast News Kitchen. But this is a fantastic food truck. We're going to see them in just a bit. But first, our very own Mr. Foodie, Camera Leppinger, brings us hot dogs and panini creations from Weenie Panini. I love the name. <laughs> Well, hey foodies, today we're serving up some tasty American comfort cuisine. Let's check them out. Hey foodies! Vincent Palacci has always dreamed of starting his own business. My passion is uh, serving people food and putting smiles on their faces. Shortly after graduating with a culinary arts degree, he set out to achieve that goal. He took the food truck route and started serving up gourmet hot dogs, paninis, and American classics. It's called Weenie Panini and his signature dish has the same name. It comes topped with pulled pork and mac and cheese. We use our slow cooked uh, pork that we cook for about eight hours. We um, then put that on the grill to order so it's hot and we pile it high on top of sliced hot dogs, truffle mac and cheese and cheddar cheese pressed on the grill. Also popular is his take on a Reuben sandwich. Instead, it's called the Ruby. Boil our hot dogs in seasoned water. We then put them on the grill to char them up. We use our Amoroso rolls. We toast on the grill and we pile high with sauerkraut, corned beef hash, and Thousand Island dressing. And both dishes are paired well with the homemade balsamic glazed fries. We deep fry our uh, extra crispy French fries, and then we toss them with Parmesan cheese and salt and pepper and drizzle with balsamic glaze. And remember, if you have a restaurant or food truck that you'd like us to check out, just simply send us a message and like our First Coast Foodies Facebook page. And that's also where our very own digital producer, Melissa Gus, she'll be bringing you more on restaurants from right here in our own backyard. You know what? I'm cracking up right now because folks that normally are not in studio are slowly they sleeping are. their way in. And that's when you know the food is good and when it smells good. <laughs> smell it. We have TV Joe 12. Joe Mass is sneaking in here. Our photographer. For uh, good Greg reason. is always in for great. the food. Um, okay, I got to add, how did you come up with this idea? I mean, what a, a creative, original food truck. How, how, where was this born? This was born pretty much, um, we just talked about how uh, we wanted to do paninis yeah. on a food truck and then we decided, well, Jacksonville's missing hot dogs. Yeah. Mm. We're from the north and we love hot dogs, so we figured we'd do both. And the name, Weenie Panini. This Who came up with that one? It's great. Honestly, my dad came up oh, with it. Oh, yeah. you're not going right to take credit on. for it. No, I'm not going to take credit. My dad came up with that name. This my dad. All right, so we got all the awesome paninis, mm -hmm. um, but you can also get a hot dog, right? right. If you just want a hot dog, plain you can hot get dog. that too. Yep, that's our plain No, this bait. is not plain. This looks seasoned that's, very well. That's, like, that's, that's the real yeah. deal. And those french fries look awesome. What is that on there, the glaze? That is the balsamic glaze. Mm -hmm. um, there it has parm truffle salt and parmesan cheese. So where Everything can we find you great. today? All right, if people are going to see this, they're going to want to see you today. So Today, so we um, we're actually going to be at the Urban Food Court from 11 to 2. Okay. And then we'll also be in St. Augustine at Stonehurst Plantation from 5 to 8. There you go. Oh, you we mean? have to ask before we run out of time. Camera Eppinger, when he comes to visit, normally just eats everything in sight. How did he do it, you guys? Did he bathe himself? He did. He did. <laughs> what? It wasn't too bad. That is a shock. <laughs> I'm that shocked. That is a shock. But amazing. Good for you, Cam. He, he, it's Friday. <laughs> it is Friday of Foodies Week, so he probably, he's probably uh, tired. Probably yeah. a little yeah. tired. Great. <laughs> looking stuff. Thank you guys so much for coming to Winnie Panini. Check them out today. See them on Facebook as well on firstcoastnews.com. Y'all have a good one. We're back in two minutes.